Hello everyone, Andrei Levidenko is here and today I will tell you how to do this the soft edge looking material in the blender in the blender internal render so first of all it's a very quick kind of uh, hack to create soft looking material soft edge looking material even though it actually is not it is not a participating media it is not um, proper volume for example uh, but it's uh, handy it's fast and it produces very clean result it has apparently certain limitations which I will tell you about later so um, let's get started new scene okay I'll enable my key display uh, we don't need this and we don't need this either for now so let's add a new plane which will be our floor use our default material floor, floor. and um, yeah our texture will be root uh, color ramp constant 0.5 and um, yeah make it 10 10 10 excellent so like this Fantastic. Right. Okay, so but let's disable environment lighting for now. Enable indirect lighting. Approximate a couple of bounces. Fine. Now let's add an icon sphere. Six subdivisions. Make it smooth. Place like this, uh, a little bit, yeah, like this. So maybe move the camera a little bit. Right. So now preparations done. We need a new material. Let's call it soft edge. Uh, disable the specularity, intensity of diffuse move to maximum. Okay, make it a little bit light emitting, just a, a bit, and enable a transparency. You don't need to put anything in here, because this will be controlled by a different material, which we will create out of this one. As a copy, and call it press now okay now here we put something like 0 0.5 0 0.5 1.5 and um, yeah enable the nodes for main material and go to compositing right did I enable my keys oh yeah um, so here for this material I'll select my Fresno material I don't need a specular just need them diffuse for now and add another node extended material this will be our soft edge okay connect soft edge to in output here and here alpha and the color both we don't need specular here either now if i will connect the color to here and the alpha and 
and um, if I will render now it is just the plain nice good old Fresno but if I will add the converter color ramp here and I'll add another point move this a little bit make this completely black you see what's going on now and in the preview you can see that it's already good and soft but switch this to bisploin and you will see the real magic okay let's render it now Ta da okay that's not it well I mean you, you already see the idea uh, just very simple um, but maybe with a little bit extra I will switch to basically using alpha as well in this color ramp and we'll use alpha as um, input for alpha here and the colors now I can use something different for example I can use blue here we'll leave white here and we'll use I don't know pink here right so now if I will add mix RGB and we'll select uh, where is it here color 100% and if I will render now then oh this is a proper magic let me let me switch it back to default and uh, yeah render full size that's it so just under 20 seconds for full HD frame with this sort of uh, quality you see how this very very soft edge it's uh, very neat and clean right so um, it blends extremely extremely quickly with the blender and it also blends very uh, very cleanly to the background and other objects now about uh, about the limitations uh, as I said this is uh, this is kind of a hack because well first of all it's um, ah, sorry yeah the object uh, and the uh, material both actually um, hard edge materials and the object so if you for example will add a lamp like a point lamp yeah right and um, yeah make it I don't know five and enable ray shadows and if you will render now You see it produces very sharp edge looking shadow so even though this material may look from this perspective as a soft edge material because of these areas are completely transparent it is actually not from blender perspective a trans semi transparent of soft edge like a volume and apparently the size of this uh, shadow also takes into calculation the entire size of the object which is slightly bigger 
because we actually in our material we took a bit of the size of the shape and made it completely transparent okay that's why the shadow is incorrect of course uh, you can tweak it and trick it let me reduce this back uh, so for example if you if you made it I don't know two and nine here and render again it will look like you know something something which makes sense in op in terms of optic but again it's a tweak it's a tweak on tweak um, yeah that's it guys um, thanks for watching uh, yeah couple more examples uh, something I rendered before for this tutorial uh, this sort of um, examples uh, what you can expect from this material originally I've done it for uh, for this sort of atmospheric effects halo and uh, all those uh, rims etc etc um, and also for halos like this inside the object which is kind of uh, something you can't achieve quickly in the, in the, and the, with a good quality uh, in the blender internal especially so um, that's it thanks for watching take care